Okay, so let's have a look at the 2021 question 8 stock valuation part of that. So question 8 was broken up into three parts. Part A was stock valuation, part B was product costing, part C was under and over absorption. So this stock valuation, so Bulger Limited is a retail store that buys and sells one product. So we've got the purchases on credit here. We've got our credit sales and we've got our cash sales. And we've got the period for each one of our purchases and our credit sales. <clears throat> it's telling us down here what our opening stock is. So opening stock is 4,700. So we're going to use that to help us calculate what is our closing stock. And then that 4,700 is worth 5 euro each. Um, so that's going to help us calculate the opening stock when we come down here to the trading account. So calculate the value of the closing stock on the 31st of the 12th, 2020 using the first in, first out or the FIFO method. So the first thing we need to do is we need to calculate one, the purchases in units and two, the value of each one of them <coughs> to help us get the total value of our purchases, which are used for the trading account. Then we're going to have to calculate what is our credit sales, how much credit sales we have in units and the amount for each one of them and our cash sales, the total cash sales for unit and the amount for each one of them. And that'll help us calculate what is our total sales in units to help us calculate the closing stock and the value of those sales to get the sales figure for the trading account. So let's start with our purchases first. So we're just going to take these units, so our purchase on credit, 4,500, 3,600 and 2,600 and they're going to be multiplied by 5 euro, by 8 euro and by 7 euro. So we're just taking the information from the question and just putting it into the table to find the value. So 4,500 multiplied by 5. Then we're going to take 3,600 multiplied by 8. And then we're going to take 2,600 and multiply it by 7. So that's the value for each one of these. So to get the total purchases, we're going to add these three up. And then to get our total units that we've purchased, we're going to add the three units up that we've taken straight from the question. And that's going to give us our purchases figure of units. And this is going to help us calculate the closing stock later on down here and how much units we've left over in our closing stock. The next part then we have to do is calculate our sales. So we're going to take the figure straight here from the sales from the question. So we've got our credit sales, 1,100. We got 1400, we got 1600, and the value of them is 10 euro each for the first one, then 11, and then 12. And once again, we're going to 1100 multiply by 10 euro to get the value. Sorry, no. And then we're going to get 1400 multiply by 11. That's the value of them. And then we're going to get 1600 multiplied by 12. And that's the value. So the total credit sales in units, we're going to add these three up together. So 1100, 1400, and 1600. And then the value of each one of them, we're going to add up the 11,000, 15,400, and 19,200. That's going to give us the value of these units that we have here. They are credit sales. Then we're going to look at our cash sales from the question. So the cash sales we have 1,700 units, 1,200 units, and 1,350. The cost of them, 10 euro, 11 euro, and 11 euro. So it's 1,700. Multiply by 11, 1200, I'm sorry, 1700 multiplied by 10, 1200 multiplied by 11, and 1300, 500 multiplied by 11. So we've added up our total for our cash sales, and then we're going to add up the total then for our units. Okay, so we've got our total then for our credit sales, and then we've got our total then for our cash sales. 
So what we're going to do then is just calculate the total units and just put the total in here for total sales for each one. So we're going to add up 11,000, or sorry, 1,100 plus 1,700. Then we're going to add 1,400 plus 1,200. Then we're going to add 1,600 plus 1,350. And then we're going to add these three units up to get our total sales in units. So we sold 8,350. Now let's find out what is our total sales figure for our profit and loss account. So we're going to add up our total amount. So 11,000 plus 17,000. 15,400 plus 13,200. And then 19,200 plus 14,850. And then we're going to add each of these up. And that's going to give us our sales figure. So we've calculated our purchases figure so far for part B. And we've also calculated our sales figure for part B. And our opening figure here is going to be 4,700 multiplied by 5 euro. The only figure we're missing then is our closing stock. So we need to calculate what is our closing stock. So it tells in the question 4,700 is our opening stock. During the year then or for the full year we purchase these and the units we have in total for purchases 10,700. So we're going to add those two together. That's how much we have in total of the units. And then we sold our total figure here, 8,350. So 8,350 is how much we sold. So that's going to give us our closing stock. So we're going to take 15,400 minus 8,350, and that's going to give us 7,500. So our closing stock then is 7,500. Now, we know that that closing stock of 7,500 is made up of these purchases here. So 7,500 is made up of 2,600, that's valued at 7 euro, 3,600, that's valued at 8 euro, and possibly 4,500, that's valued at 5 euro each. So we need to find out what is the value of this closing stock. So of this 7,500, we're going to have 2,600 is going to be valued. So 2,600 is valued at 7 euro. Okay, because that's the last amount of stock that we bought in. And the value of that is 18,200. So we have got 7,500. Of that 7,500, 2,600 has been valued already. So what's left of value then is 4,500. So we're going to move up this way. So of this 4,500, 3,600 is valued at 8 euro each. So 3,600 is valued at 8 euro each. So 3,600 8. So that's the value of the 3,600. So of the 4,500, we have valued 3,600. So what's left of value then is 850. So that 850 then is valued at 5 euro each, because that's what we've left. So the value of our closing stock then are these three items added up. So the value of our closing stock is 51,000. 250. So calculate the value of the closing stock um, on the 31st of 12, 2020 using FIFO. So remember, we've calculated what our closing stock is. So how do we do that? We got our open stock from the question. We added on our purchases that we calculated at the start because we purchased them. So that's going to increase the amount of units we have. And then we're going to take away the sales, the total sales that we have over here, 8,350. And that's going to give us our closing stock. Now that closing stock that we have in the stock room is made up of different values. So we need to find out how much is that 7,500. So of that 7,500, 2,600 is worth 7 euro. 
it's taken straight from the question here. So if we have 2,600 valued, what's left to value then is 4,450. So of that 4,450, we've got 3,300 valued at 8 euro. So that gives us 28,800. And what's left then out of 4,450 is 800. So we take the 3,600 away from the 4,450 and we get 850. And that's valued then at 5 euro. So that's how we calculate the closing stock and part A of the 2021 question 8.